There are a quarter of a million tons of highly radioactive nuclear waste sitting around across the globe. In some cases, leaching toxins into the environment. But not in Finland. The Finns, as the only country in the world, are building a permanent storage site for high-level nuclear waste. Just three hours away from the capital Helsinki, in the municipality called Eurajoki, which already houses a nuclear power plant. The site is called Onkalo, or cave in Finnish. The ride takes us all the way down to 430 meters underground. Antti Jotsen is the head geologist at the company responsible for the repository. This area was chosen because of the special conditions. The age of the rock is almost two billion years. It's uh, rather unfractured, rather dry. You know, we don't have a lot of groundwater movements in here. The Finns are way ahead of most nations. Also because, according to one survey, almost 70% of Finns have a positive attitude towards nuclear power. No, I'm not afraid that anything bad will happen because they are very careful about safety. I think it's good. We get more uh, taxes and money from that and maybe some new people. And for business sides, it's good. Eurajoki receives around 20 million euros in property taxes every year from TVO, the company who owns the nuclear power plant and the waste disposal site. The municipal centre, with only a couple of thousand inhabitants, has its own healthcare centre, nursing home, library and multiple sports facilities, and is building another sports centre for 9 million euros. Vesa Jalonen is a former teacher and has been living here for over 50 years. People in Finland, they, they think so that because engineers have, have uh, uh, investigated that, and, and uh, for example, our regulators took, is, is, uh, we trust it very, very much. Actually, we can say that we are very proud of that. That can be surprising to some, because high-level nuclear waste is no regular waste. It consists mostly of spent nuclear fuel rods and can stay radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. To prevent radioactivity from the rods from leaking in the meantime, it needs to be encased properly. In Finland, the spent fuel rods are sealed into 5 cm thick and around 5 m high copper canisters, which are then put into holes over 400 meters underground. The hole is filled up with bentonite clay, which can absorb groundwater that might seep in and corrode the copper canister. Finally, the tunnel is backfilled with the same material and sealed with a six meter thick concrete slab. This is our first real final deposition tunnel. It's 350 meters long and uh, we can fit uh, around 40 capsules in this tunnel. There is debate over how fast the copper canisters could corrode. But the Finnish Nuclear Safety Authority says that it won't pose a significant risk and that the canister is just one protective layer of many. We have designed the concept to be so robust that it, if we have carried out um, kind of a uh, false estimations or underestimated some of the processes that might take place here in the repository. That's why we have the, the safety margins in our concept. The storage site will be gradually expanded and filled for about a century, to a total length of 50 kilometers. But then it will be sealed permanently, not to be touched again. Other Europeans have protested the permanent storage of high-level nuclear waste in their communities. Why not here? There has been a, a kind of a mutual uh, consensus that we need to take care of the wastes, not to leave them to the future generations. That may be why the Finns will soon be the first in the world to permanently store high-level nuclear waste. 